Welcome back everyone. I'm Josh E with the 5A Essential Series. Today we're going to be talking about a very, very classic 5A element that has been around since pretty much the beginning of the 5A style when it was first created. It remains to be one of the most versatile and well-used concepts in the style. You'll see all kinds of modern day players using this. And overall it's just a really good principle to learn, especially if you're trying to figure out how to use your counterweight and your yo-yo spinning in opposite directions. So of course we are talking about the butterfly. And this is what it looks like. So, butterfly. Uh, seemingly very easy to do in concept, but into practice is a whole nother ballgame. Really, it's simple enough. You just have a yo-yo that's spinning in one direction, and the counterweight has a length of string that's spinning in the other direction. And again, you know, seemingly very simple, but there's more to this that meets the eye. So my method for learning butterfly starts out with being able to throw uh, just, you know, standard breakaway and holding onto the string and letting the yo-yo just do rotations like this. And just get used to the feel of the yo-yo just being able to kind of like count off one, two, three, four. And you want to be very controlled. You want to be able to like control the speed of this. You don't want to like slide around with the different lengths or anything. You want to keep it kind of like roughly centered, maybe a little more than centered. And just get used to this. Just get used to being able to control the yo-yo. And if you look at my, uh, my free hand, you'll notice that I'm kind of doing a light, sort of up and down motion with it, just getting really used to that feel. So what often happens with newer 5e players when they're trying to learn this trick is they'll find when they try to introduce the counterweight in, it'll often collide with the yo-yo, making a terrible, terrible sound and throwing off the whole trick. In other case, newer 5a players might notice that when they try to throw the counterweight in, it might get tangled because the string links are a little wonky. So we're just gonna eliminate both of those things happening right now with a very, very simple trick. Step number one of this is regarding our string links. So when you're doing this trick, a lot of the people think that you need an exact length where the counterweight is exactly in line with where the yo-yo is. And if you think about it, if you do this, that just increases the chances of the counterweight colliding with the yo-yo because they're at the same level. So to prevent this, what we can do is we can actually make the counterweight side a little bit shorter. So if a collision is to happen, it's most likely not going to be with the yo-yo, it's going to be with the string. And the string obviously much thinner and skinnier object, so right there it definitely will decrease your chances of having this kind of collision. Next we're going to talk about the angle of entry. So for the most part, when you view the butterfly from front on position from like where the camera is right now, it looks pretty much that everything is traveling along like a pretty flat plane in front of me. So if we think about that, it's just like everything is just flat. If I'm spinning this basically against the wall, we can imagine that the counterweight and the yo-yo are on that same plane as the wall. But actually when we're doing butterfly, it's not entirely flat on. And actually what we're doing is there's a slight offset angle of the direction that the counterweight is spinning and the direction that the yo-yo is spinning. So this angle is actually pretty subtle. We're not going completely like a 45 you know, difference of degree here. What we're actually doing is we're taking into account, okay, where the yo-yo spin is and what plane that is, imagining that wall. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna toss the counterweight over in such a way that it's not going flat like straight on with the yo-yo, it's actually going at an ever so slightly offset angle. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at that angle and I'm saying, okay, I'm going to throw it over, but I'm also going to throw it ever so slightly like forward, kind of going off, like a little away from me a little bit. So when I do that, there we go. Again, this is just absolutely decreasing the chance that the yo-yo and the counterweight is going to collide. So another thing we got to talk about is hand positioning. So when I'm doing this trick, I'm sort of having a hook with my index finger and with that hook I'm pinching ever so slightly with my thumb. So 
A common mistake is some players will think you gotta like grip the whole string or maybe like pinch just at the tip and then you have like a loose string. That just makes it harder. The easiest way to do this is just having that hook pointer and then using your thumb to kind of just hold on to the string. To finish this trick, all you gotta do is grab the counterweight as it comes from the bottom and then you can mount the yo-yo into a trapeze and then you can bind the yo-yo to catch it. So now that we got the butterfly down, let's talk about some other things and variations that we can do with it. One of my favorite variations of the butterfly is something I call a hit back butterfly. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm rebounding the counterweight off the top of my uh, wrist, my throw hand wrist in particular. And what this allows to happen is that then the counterweight can actually travel in the same motion as the yo-yo itself. You can also do this in reverse and you can create kind of this cool back and forth variation of the butterfly. I also really like using the butterfly as a transitional move to basically have rebound and go into a unrolling double or nothing mount. If you don't know that trick, I actually did a tutorial for this with four other results in the same concept, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And really there's all sorts of other things you can do with the butterfly concept, and you'll find that just as you mess around with other tricks that you're learning, you'll have the opportunity to really throw a butterfly in so many different combos. Another one of my favorite variations of butterfly is a hand switching butterfly. And I believe the first person I ever saw do this trick was Andrew Lin out of Singapore. And of course, one of the variations I do very, very often actually is kind of a one-handed helicopter trapeze mount where you're basically making a mini butterfly. I will say that this is definitely a very frustrating trick at times because really trying to remember like the planes and just trying to remember like the string lengths can be really like just confusing sometimes. And even as I was practicing making this video, there were times where sometimes the counterweights would still collide. So there's a lot to really think about and just if you find that you're getting a lot of mistakes of this or the yo-yo's colliding with the counterweight a lot or like things don't seem to be working out, try not to get frustrated. It's really just a matter of practicing over and over and over again. And like I said before, practice with a dead yo-yo and really just kind of get this motion and you know, and pretty much if you just keep up the practice, you'll find that this will start to get easier and easier. So yeah, really, it's it can be a very, very frustrating concept. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with more tutorials I'll be releasing very, very soon. Keep practicing that 5A and I'll catch you guys next time.